Good morning, my name is Alexis Moore and I am applying for the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship. Um, the prompt was, which what, what was one successful um, thing I've done or what is one thing I failed at? And today I'm gonna be talking about experience in which I failed. Um, this happened to me like last summer, summer 23. Um, I attended the Girl State um, Palmetto Girl State, um, in South Carolina, and, like, um, if you know anything about Girl State, um, it is, like, they, they pick from the top students, like, the top girl students from, like, a school, and, you know, we all meet up at, like, a university, we have, like, this week-long, um, journey where, you know, we get to know each other, and, um, it was a wonderful experience, but one thing I can say is that it opened my eyes a lot because um, when I ran for the House of Representatives, like I was so sure that I was going to get it because I'm normally like in my home school, uh, it, like, you know, normally I would win at things like that. But again, when you're around, you know, other people with great talents and, you know, great minds just like you. Sometimes that isn't the case. And so when I um, competed for the House of Representatives, like you go through um, like three challenges, I want to say. And um, so I like lost my first round and I was, you know, genuinely surprised that I lost because I took time to prepare my speech just like anybody else, but I didn't win. And, you know, it was an eye-opener for me because it just showed me that, you know, sometimes in life, you know, you're you're not going to get everything that you want. And that's okay. Um, and so, I was I was able to, like, look beyond that. And instead, um, what I would do is I would just, you know, <clears throat> sorry, I'm fighting a cold right now. Um, but I pretty much look past it and I just used it to my advantage, like, as a learning lesson. Um, like, you know, I looked at the, those girls, and those girls were wonderful. Like, everybody, you know, um, top students, like, in their school. So, you have students, they're like, you know, um, everybody's almost valedictorian. Everybody's, um, you know, they're, like, top students, like, in all of their um, extracurricular activities. They're either president or vice president. And so I was like literally surrounded by greatness. And, you know, sometimes that can be a little intimidating, but I looked past it. I took notes on, you know, how to make myself better, how to like, you know, I look within to find like, you know, what was I flawed in when it came to, um, you know, why did I lose? Like, what can I be better? And it just put me on like, you know, a different mindset when I came back to school, because now, you know, I have this revelation where it's like, okay, when I do go out into the world, it's not going to be, um, you know, me getting every single thing that I want. And, you know, it was just, I pretty much have to make myself better if I want these things. I have to make it so it's like no, you know, exception. And that's why I took from that experience. Um, it's been one of the few times I actually failed but um i will be returning there again this summer but instead of um being like a, a, a like an actual student there um well i guess that's what you would call it student delegate delegate that's the word i was looking for um yeah so instead of being a delegate there i will actually be um a junior counselor and I'm very excited about that opportunity. And so that was one plus that came out of the um, opportunity. Like, yes, I lost that House of Representatives. And, you know, I didn't get a chance to, you know, argue my bill, like, on the floor. Um, but it did help me because, you know, I was able to apply for my dream council position. And I actually got it, which I'm so stoked about. I cannot wait to actually um, go back there this summer and see those girls, you know, be in the same position that I was and, you know, just see how they turn out. But that's all. Thanks again.